107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. What's going on? It's 107.5 WBLS-TV with me, Deja Vu, of course, and we have the illustrious um, Lauren Lake of Fraternity Court hanging out with us today. Hey, lady. Hey there. Always looking fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm so glad you stopped by today. You know, we're tag-tailing and wrapping up Women's History Month. Yes. And I wanted to talk about the steps that you've made in, in just being an entrepreneur, being on sure. television, because a lot of us have seen Lauren on paternity court, but they don't know the other side of Lauren, the other things that you do to match up to all of that as the judge on, on TV. So give us an inside look at what you do as far as your entrepreneurship and your phil uh, philanthropic efforts. Oh, sure. As judge of paternity court, I really bring to the bench uh, my entire life and professional experience. Mm -hmm. I am a lawyer. I also am a designer. Uh, many She's of you have seen- <laughs> yeah, I used to have a show on HJTV where I designed kitchens, but I, I love to be creative. And uh, so I've had a design company for many years. I've been a lawyer for over two decades. I'm also a, a speaker. I do a lot of motivational speaking and mm -hmm. teaching. Mm -hmm. uh, and for many years worked as a professional singer as well. That's how I paid my way through law school, Look working as a lady. singer. Wait a minute. So, I'm working as a singer, paying my way through law school. Did you always want to be a lawyer? You know, look, I, I love to use my voice, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I use it in whatever capacity I can. Mm -hmm. Initially, I was supposed to be an anesthesiologist, if you really want to know serious? the truth. I did. I went to school, and that's what I thought I wanted to be. And then as time began to develop, I, people kept saying to me, you know, just have a really powerful voice. Mm -hmm. And they didn't mean that just in a singing capacity. They meant, you know, when you talk, people listening. Right. And, you know, and I said, you know what, you have to use your gifts for good in this world. Mm -hmm. And I would go and, and, you know, do speeches. I was always the person hosting the event on the campus. Mm -hmm. or sing. And I said, you know what, this is just something I think I can use. And I love advocating for people. And so I went to law school. I decided to do that and really fell in love with the you know, with the the act of advocating for someone that doesn't have a voice. Right. When someone's in trouble, but they can't tell their story, you know, I'm the person that said, let me, let me tell it. Because <laughs> you're going to get yourself in trouble. Let me tell. This is why she did this. Right. And, and you know, I, I've made my career out of it and my life's work. And now as judge of this show, I am able to now still advocate for families and children and help them understand that they can overcome any obstacle mm -hmm. that's placed in front of them, even DNA results. Girl. All right, one thing I do love, you came and participated with us for our Hustle Her event at Circle of Sisters last I year did. with WBLS. And one of the things you said was that people wanted to try and sit you down because you were doing so many different things and yes. they wanted to put you in this box. Speak on being able to repurpose yourself and continue to do many things. And I say now, we have to be able to extend the brand. And I love that you said repurpose because in design, we talk a lot about repurposing something. Mm -hmm. And in life, I don't think we truly uh, embrace our multifaceted uh, a, a way of life. Right. You know, when we're kids, we can get up in the morning, ride our bike, go to school, sing in the choir, be a Girl Scout, be a Boy Scout. We got all these things we do. Right. Then all of a sudden you get to be an adult and people start asking you, well, what thing are you going to choose? Well, why do I have to choose? Wow. I'm all of these things. So I made a decision a long time ago that I was going to name myself. I was going to label myself that I'm limitless, mm. that I don't have limitation and I refuse to be placed in a box based upon someone else's one dimensional thought. Go That's ahead. your life. Right. My life is multifaceted and multidimensional and I'm going to live all of that out. And so that's what I kind of, you know, in a crazy way, it all played out on television. That's that's why I know it's a part of my life's mm -hmm. purpose is because I've sang on TV and designed on TV and now I'm a lawyer on TV and I'm the judge of this courtroom on TV. And it's important, I think, for people to see visual examples of the limitless possibilities of their life because if I can do it you definitely can absolutely so what do you do for fun when, when you're shaking off all this stuff and you're chilling and you out with the girls where do you go what do you drink what you eat and what's the favorite restaurant oh my you already been to Houston well when I, I come here I already had Talk that I had that yesterday <laughs> uh, you know Houston's uh, at Riverside Square Mall that's my joint right? every time I get to town it's my first stop Isabel don't get mad I already <laughs> went without you what she got an attitude. Wait, wait Isabel's over there. there I didn't. Go. I didn't. But she had an attitude. <laughs> Look, I did. I had to go. You were working. But um, I go to Houston's. That's my spot. I love a great glass of wine. I love. You know, I actually am starting to like yoga. Really? I never Girl, thought I, I would say that in my life. Done. I mean, I when I when look, I used to be the Zumba girl where I wanted to dance around and be. 
And now, I think once you go through enough stuff in life, you'll be like, you know what, yoga is good. Let me get in here and just get my zen on. Open up your chakras. So I am really started to enjoy it, and it's becoming a new passion of mine. I go as often as wait, I can. Wait, hold on, she said new passion. Are we going to have a Lauren Lake yoga studio? Knowing me, <laughs> look, li limitless, limitless oh yoga. God. Let's put it out there. Look, look whatever, whatever. But, but honestly, I just enjoy living life to the fullest. Family, mm -hmm. friends, um, getting uh, eating way too much. Girl. And I love to cook. What, what do you, what's your specialty? Uh, soul food. <laughs> what, what else are we going to cook? No, you know what I really have been uh, trying to do is adopt vegan variations to my favorite soul food meals. Okay. I pretty much got everything down because, you know, I'm trying to watch the way I see you all over your social Girl, media. You look I'm amazing. Trying. I text my, my trainer. I was like, I want a donut. I know. I want a donut. I know. <laughs> I try to find, I, I, like, I love a green drink and greens. So <laughs> I'm, I, I just got to figure out how to make it work. So right. I've been doing that, but peach cobbler is my thing. All right you, now. If you have my peach cobbler, you it's it's official. What? But I try not to make it because it's just you it's just gonna, you're just gonna eat it all. <laughs> breakfast. I made one the other day for my dad, my stepmom. We was eating it for breakfast. It's just wrong. See? It ain't nothing right about it. See? So it's so good. But anyway, that's what I love to do and inspire young girls. That's why I'm here in New York now for Absolutely. the Ween Academy auditions on this Saturday. And you can get that at weenonline.org if you're between 18 and 26 and want a career in entertainment. All right, parting words. Give me some inspirational words that can hit anybody out there watching women men children oldies youngies let's go I ask myself every day why be ordinary when extraordinary is an option we all have the option the responsibility to live extraordinary lives a limitless life no limitation on what you can do and what you can be and how much you can love and give love to others love it I don't need to say nothing else girl <laughs> nothing it's WBLS thank you Lauren. thank you